I was introduced to MATLAB my first semester of university as part of a linear algebra course. We had to use it on a number of assignments involving Gaussian elimination, inverse matrices, and similar. I then continued to use it in nearly all of my math, science, and electrical engineering courses in one way or another. From calculus to differential equations, from control systems to digital signal processing. In my graduate electrical engineering coursework, I used it in some way as part of every course. In my thesis work, I used conformal mapping algorithms in MATLAB to predict the effect of transistor gate geometry on device characteristics. As a professional, I have used MATLAB for things like creating a model of a mixed signal receive channel to understand how various design decisions, like the type of the analog filter used or the type of data encoding chosen, would impact the overall bit error rate. These are just a few examples of the usefulness of a tool like MATLAB for someone like me. Now somewhere along the way, I found that for all of these tasks that I had performed, I could have used a free open source program called Octave. I have been using Octave ever since professionally and for hobby work. In this video, you can see a bunch of the Octave demos running while I talk. Now MATLAB and Octave still exist, but neither MATLAB nor the Octave team provide releases for Android. Why is this interesting? Many people, and more so in certain cultures and parts of the world, are skipping over the desktop laptop PC world and jumping straight to mobile devices, many of which are more powerful than the computers I use for the projects mentioned. Others are using mobile devices as a companion to their desktop or laptop. The number of mobile devices sold per year is exploding while the number of desktops and laptops sold per year has stagnated. Some of those people are students or professionals in the math, science, and engineering fields that could greatly benefit from having this type of capability working on their Android devices. So what am I proposing? I'm going to get Octave and GNU Plot working with little or no caveat on Android so that you can do everything I've described but from your Android device. GNU Plot has been the primary plotting engine used for Octave over time and is used in the demos you see running in the video. I am also going to provide an intuitive touch interface to make using this on your Android device much easier. You can see the Kickstarter project page for a full list of the deliverables I'm planning on providing. You will not have to root your device to use this application. This application will be distributed through the normal Google Android market. So far, in my spare time, I have built and supported an Android app that is like a scaled back version of Octave. The name of the app is Addy, and it has been very well received. It was fully Java and largely based with significant bug fixes on a now defunct project called JMathLib. Last year, I started dabbling with cross compiling Octave and GNU Plot for Android. I have now released a proof of concept of Octave running on Android, which you can enable from within the Addy app. I also have a proof of concept, not released yet, of GNU Plot running on Android. I'm, but going from proof of concept to a complete and fully debugged application is not a small step. Who might want to help this Kickstarter campaign succeed? Maybe you are a user of Addy already and you want to see it get much better. Maybe you've never heard of Addy, but you would like to have the opportunity to have this capability on your mobile device. Maybe you are a university or corporation that would like this capability to be available to your current and future students or employees. Maybe you are a kind person who sees how having a tool like this could help others out. If you do decide to help, you will be helping university students in Brazil whose professor contacted me about their use of the application. If you do decide to help, you will be helping students out in India where Addy was demoed by Datawind to the India Ministry of Education running on the Akash tablet. I want this to become a much better and complete program for all of them, the other current users, and all the future users of Addy. I also want to provide proper support and get this free open source project in the correct state for it to flourish into the future. I hope you find value in the work that I am doing and support the project. I am passionate about this and the reality is I'm going to work on this project either way, but the speed and quality with which I finish the deliverables listed on the project page depends on you. Thanks.